is up guys? I'm Envy and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a palette comparison between the Natasha Denona Retro palette and the Colourpop Menage a Moi palette and talking way too much so if that is something that you're interested in keep on watching! So before I get into these swatches, actually let me like pivot over here. Before I get into these swatches, I obviously I film this after I do my eye looks, so that way you can look at uh, said eye look, but I'm still figuring out my setup. I kind of talk about it like spar sparsely throughout this video, but um, I like the look of natural light. Actually, that's a I feel like y'all like the look of natural light. I prefer night, like right now, because you're gonna see like the lighting change as the sun goes down because I don't have curtains and I, I the, the, the blinds are drawn, but that doesn't stop the light from being in the room when the sun sets on that side. But um, yeah, let me know if you prefer like which, <laughs> do you prefer daytime filming or do you prefer nighttime filming? I started filming a little bit before the sun went down and then uh, stuff happened and here I am now at sundown. Anyway, let's get into these swatches, shall we? All right, so first up we have Glitz and Amore. Both are soft pink shimmers with like a little bit of like, just like a light reflective flip to it, but Amore is a little bit more reflective and has a little bit more of like a gold shift to it. Next is Andy and Obsession. Andy is a little bit more um, like soft, kind of like a light and lavender shade. It can eventually be built up, but I didn't have time for that in this video, so I just combined it with something else. But in using this palette, I do want you to know that it can be built up to a much more um, vibrant, but still kind of like a, so it won't be as dark, but it isn't as light as what you see initially in this video. It's just kind of like a more saturated, that's what I'm looking at. It can be built up to be a more saturated lavender shade. I just was impatient and I wasn't trying to match it to lavender, so yeah, that's why in the swatch it looks a little bit more like, ah uh, yes, this is a saturated shade, but whenever I put it on my eye it's just like, wow, where's the pigment? Spoiler alert, I guess. Next up we have Mod and Crave. Crave is a little bit more of like an ivory or like a yellow toned off-white, but both are off-white whites. Next, we have Vivian and Total Flirt. Both are like nude, nude. Both are mid-toned taupe shades. They're both the lighter variations of taupe in this, in these palettes respectively. They're very similar. There's not a whole lot of difference going on. Next, we have Swing and Miss You. Both are like neutral purple shimmer shades, but I would say that Miss You is so much more reflective. Next, we have Nude Mauve and Novel. Both are the more darker of the taupe shades in of the two respective pal of the two respective palettes, the two palettes respectively. I don't know what I'm going with here whenever I do that, but both are the darker of the taupe shades in their palettes, and they're both also extremely similar. So, yeah. Next, we have Rebellion and No Drama. Rebellion is definitely more of like a warmer purple shade and much like Andy, which is another cream to powder shade in the Natasha Denona palette, it needs to be built up to kind of have the same intensity as No Drama, the counterpart in the ColourPop palette. Again, other than them being a little bit more neutral toned and a little bit more pigmented, there's not a whole lot of differences between the ColourPop shadow and the Natasha Denona shadow. Next, we have Helio versus Thrillist. So both are kind of more taupey brown shimmers. I will say that Helio is a little bit more like warm and brown, where Thrillist is more taupe, but Thrillist is also way more reflective. Next, we have Jude versus Big Tease. Big Tease is a glitter, but they both kind of have a similar taupey, silvery, shimmery, vibe and so I just thought that it would be fun to show them next to each other. All right next we have Psychedelic and Amore. So like previously stated Amore is a soft pink with kind of like a yellow flip. Psychedelic is definitely more pink and reflective but it doesn't have that yellow flip to it. They're just both kind of the most reflective pink shades in either palette. 
So yeah, these are the swatches. If this is where I leave you in this video, thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. But if you wanna see how they perform and how I achieved these two lovely eye looks, keep on watching. Hi, as you can see, I am messing around with lighting setup. I need to get that out of my face. <laughs> lighting setup, everything, yeah. There's a lot of changes going on, but let's get right into this eyeshadow. So on a fluffy brush on the Menage a Moi side, I'm going in with Obsession. Just blending that right into my crease. That is a very pigmented mauve. I know that I'm pretty sloppily putting this in here, but it's a blending shade or transition shade. I guess both are right. I guess that is to say I'm just not too concerned. All right, so on my Natasha Denona side, I had compared that to Andy. Andy is one of the more creamed powder shades. So normally I feel better like pressing these in and then stamping them out. Also seems to be a tinge more like cool toned and lavender. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of groove. I don't think I compared groove to anything, but I need something a little bit deeper. Ooh. Okay, Groove and Andy is where it's at. Groove and Andy equals obsession. Yes. Okay. It look it, this still looks a little bit more cool tone where this looks more warm, but at least it isn't as like pastel for lack of better words. Now you may have noticed that I didn't post a video last week. Last week I was in mourning. Um I lost my dog. <laughs> I lost uh the dog that um essentially was my first puppy in a pretty traumatic way she was she was still pretty young and yeah i just i just couldn't bring myself to like film i tr or i did film and it was kind of awful <laughs> like the vibes were just off everything was just off so i never posted that video i just scrapped it and i just put the look on my instagram but um yeah it sucked <laughs> i'm not gonna go into too many details because i just feel like we don't need that in this video, but what I am gonna do on my ColourPop side is go in with no drama. Isn't that a nice transition? Oh no, I put it on my brush and put it on my eye. This isn't that side, no. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put what's left over on this brush here. So that, my dears, is no drama. Now let's go in with over here for realsies this time. That is Rebellion, which is another cream shade. I actually have a really substantial like dip in. I know that my content has gotten a little bit uh, sparingly recently, and I know that I said that I would like mention it later. I didn't wanna say what was going on until like, there was an end in sight, and I guess there is an end in sight. Um, my computer broke, so I've essentially been editing on a borrowed computer, and I've started a new job. I work for the DOD now, which is fun, and that's the most that I'm going to get into. DOD, by the way, stands for uh, Department of Defense, just in case nobody is aware. And it's a steady job, it's steady hours, and it's good hours, but with it being full time, and with me borrowing a computer, essentially, um, I just don't have the time. I think Rebellion doesn't look as pigmented as, I don't think Rebellion looks as pigmented as No Drama because it is a cream shade. So it kind of like blends out while I'm like putting it on as opposed to No Drama, which is like just staying there. <laughs> Both sides do have a lot of fallout, but I will say that I just feel like the ColourPop side is a lot more but that could be because ColourPop is all powders, where I've used like two of the cream shades in uh, the Natasha Denona palette. I think there's like six out of the 18 shades are creams, because I know I know Andy, Vivian, Rebellion, Go Go, I think Apart is. Okay, so five. Maybe technically Glitz or Psychedelic is they're like the special really soft uh, shimmer shades. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this lighting. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. <laughs> just for fun. And just just to see what happens. I'm gonna blend the Natasha Denona side out with a nude mauve. Just to see if that can bring 
and just cool it down a little bit because Rebellion is looking very, I don't want to say like maroon, but more like violet. How does this look? For me, I feel like it looks good. It looks very blended, very cohesive. It's, it gets a little messy in like this little tail of my eyebrow. But when does it my eyeshadow get messy, honestly? I like it a lot. I really, really like it a lot. So Nude Mauve, I compared to, I think, Novel? Yes, Novel. So on the ColourPop side, let's blend this out with Novel. But yeah, new job, new life, <laughs> for lack of better words. A lot of changes have happened in the past like three months. I moved houses, I have a new job. I just feel like everything, I feel like everything is coming together except for my YouTube, which I guess is high. So I lost about five minutes of footage, which is completely fine. It was just really funny because I was blending out my lower lash line shades and I was saying, normally I don't put this, I, this thing keeps falling. Uh, <laughs> I was saying, um, yeah, this thing keeps falling, so I keep having to hunch and that makes me look fatter. Anyway, it's just funny because I was saying, like, normally I don't show you guys blending out my lower crease, or my lower crease line, my lower lash line. Normally I just say, you know, let me finish my eyes off camera and I'll be right back because I hate my blending face and then I was getting over showing my blending face and now all that character development is gone. But what I was saying, I remember talking about was, um, let me do this while I do my eyeshadow. Also, I added a shimmer shade over here. Let me add a little bit more over here. That way I can actually do something while I talk, which is an issue I have. Anyway, I'm going in with swing, but I was saying that like, it mu I know it must sound like pretty privileged for me to be like, I'm failing at YouTube, it, but I'm, I'm not growing and doing as much for my YouTube as much as I want to, but everything else in life is going great and therefore I am sad. It's not that I'm sad, it's more just like, you know, YouTube is a hobby and hobbies are kind of what push us to want to do things. And I was, and I did say that like, I'm really happy that I'm feeling like I'm not doing enough because that's a drive. Because if I weren't, imagine if my content, I was only pushing it out, I say pushing out. Imagine if I was only putting out content because I felt like I had to. Like every week I was like, ugh, I have to film this video this week. Uh, no, I, I genuinely enjoy YouTube. I think about it all the time. I think about you guys all the time. I think about all the support and all the lovely comments and messages that I get. <sighs> There's a lot of fallout from Miss You. Oh my goodness. I'm going in with Thrillist. I was saying that like, I feel like I don't do enough. I know that it's for like a socially acceptable reason that I've kind of put like my YouTube, for lack of better words, on the back burner. And I haven't meant to, again, work, computer down, yeah. But like, it also just really, cause uh, it really just makes me want to put out the best that I can put out. Especially now when I'm feeling kind of good about it, you know? Like I'm not feeling, depressed, I'm not feeling down. That's the thing, I just wish that I could do more for you guys. And while I know that it's, I everything is slowly getting better. That was Thrillist, that's a little bit more of like a white shade. The only thing I think I have for that over here is Psychedelic, so let's do that. I keep like obsessively checking to make sure that it's still recording because I am upset that I lost those like, I said five minutes, it was actually more like seven. Now that I'm like re-saying what I said, I was like, oh yeah, we lost a bit. What's up with my computer, if you care? It's, um, it's up and running, fantastic. But I turned it on for the first time, I was super excited, and then I realized no sound came out of it. How do I edit YouTube videos with no sound? You tell me, I should probably aim this way. This is a very pretty shade, but it is more of like a topper. I probably should have gone in with glitz and then put this on. But nothing is really gonna match Thrillist because Thrillist is more of like a champagne-y color. Thrillist really just looks so much more blinding. I'm very surprised by that, considering like Natasha Denona's shimmer quality. The fact that this ColourPop shade is just blowing it out of the water. Cause I went in with psychedelic glitz and then another layer of psychedelic and it just isn't measuring up to this bad boy over here. Oh, I hit myself in the face. Also, as you can see, the sun is setting, which means that there's a little bit less light in my room, but oh my God, the sun is setting. There's less light in the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to figure out 
how I feel about this lighting with my setup. I feel like it highlights my cheeks weird. And I definitely have to like, cause uh, I want to be up here. Up here is where I'm like naturally with my back, but I'm sure that wasn't jarring at all. But here is this, both sides. I do really like it. I do really like both. Um, let's see what I can do to maybe bring down the shimmer of the ColourPop side. Without wetting my brush, I am just going to lightly go over uh, Thrillist with a little bit of Miss You, just to kind of bring back, yeah, that purple. Like I'm just literally like dry brushing it. Like just kind of patting it on, not trying to get the brush too saturated with color or pigment. And then just swiping it over. I feel like those look super similar. Okay. Okay. I hate that I have to be down here. And you see my face. All right, but here is this look. I'm going to finish my eyes off camera and then I will be right back. I have discovered that I just need to keep my tripod like this. I can never move it again. And I might actually mess it up uh, taking my phone out. So I'm back and <laughs> this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think down below. I actually quite like it. I don't like how the light falls on my face if I'm gonna be like, honest and real with you guys, but I think these are dupes. Actually, I feel like dupe has become like derogatory, but I do feel like you could achieve a similar look as, as stated like right now. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.